are we gonna make these decisions without anybody getting upset? Well, what if we take emotion out of the process and base it on empirical metrics? Then we aren't really making the decision. The data is. So we can hurt our friends' feelings without taking any responsibility? <laughs> Me likey. <laughs> but how do we apply quantitative metrics to something as subjective as choosing a wedding party? That decision only seems subjective. In reality, people in a wedding party perform very specific functions, and some will perform those better than others. If I may use a superhero analogy. You may not. Okay, I'll use real people. Um, <laughs> if a certain dog-like loyalty is useful, then it's Leonard. Hmm? If uh, having a Pez dispenser filled with Tums is an advantage, wallow it. Um, <laughs> if a best man with fake testicles hanging from his truck is important, well, then my brother's back in the running. <laughs> Okay, I see your point. So we break down each of the roles into their component parts and then design specialized tests for each. Exactly. Boy, if I'd known getting married was going to involve so much science, I'd have proposed years ago. <laughs> so Leonard, tell everyone your news. Oh, uh, I am starting a book. That would be big news from Penny, but you've read a book before. <laughs> he means he's writing a book. I do. It's something I've been thinking about for a long time. Yeah, it's about a brilliant physicist who solves crimes using science. Yeah. Oh, Leonard. It's not about you. <laughs> he probably has to say that for legal reasons. Uh-oh. They gave us plain rice instead of fried rice. Well, no fair. I sold cycle this morning. I'm entitled to a pile of fat rice. <laughs> well, I would say that this constitutes a catering crisis. I agree. Who's gonna step up and handle it? <laughs> Doesn't matter, this is fine. Penny? What? You know what, I'll take care of it. Whoa, shit, Howard Wallowitz. <laughs> Meg gay woman, chow fan. <laughs> Pangsa Indu Panya Bugal Singa. Yes, yes. Done. You didn't make him feel bad, did you? Actually, he was laughing. <laughs> I'm really impressed at how you handled that, Howard. Please, I've been sending food back my entire life. One of my first full sentences was, "I had breast milk for breakfast." <laughs> Excuse me, but before we start eating, I, I would like to make a toast. Oh, nice. If only I could think of one. Someone else go. 